And the curtain falls on our first act. The first act of the third act. Ark? That's not spelled with an H, is it? Jesus, this is getting confusing. But now we've got all the setup out of the way. Send in the stage sweepers, cause yikes, I don't even want to know what's on the floor after that party. Sorry, but you'll have to give us a minute to set up for act two, so in the meantime, I guess that means you're stuck with me. As vitriolic as I may appear, I do genuinely hope you're enjoying our little circus, cause believe me, there's someone out there who worked their little patutsky off to put it together. Not me, I just show up and do whatever the hell I want. I don't think I'm even supposed to be here, but it's my goddamn show and you really think I wouldn't want to show up in person? That being said, if you aren't liking it, then fuck you! Fuck you and your absolutely terrible taste! For the rest of you, I hope you're strapped the fuck in because here's where it starts to get fun. Now all the performers are here, they've gotten all comfy cozy with their roles, so it's time to smash them together and see what happens! Hold on, wait a minute. Clowns, magicians, juggler, sharpshooter... Fuck, where's that wolf... I mean... Lion Tamer gotten off to? He poked his greasy little head through the curtain a little while ago. Come to think of it, I don't actually think that was part of the script. Oh, there he is, flipping me off from stage left. Classic live... Okay, you know what, this is getting stupid. There's too many layers of metaphors now. I'm getting confused. This fucker doesn't tame lions, that'd be too cliche. No, this fucker tames wolves. One wolf specifically. I know it's not necessarily conventional, but this circus has a wolf tamer. It's one of our unique draws, you could say. Besides, couldn't find a damn lion, and he and I go way back, so I had to give him the job. But let me tell you, I hesitated, that's for damn sure. Motherfucker did some crazy shit back in the day. Ate a bunch of people, did a lot of other shit to people. Can't say he didn't get what he deserved in the end, because that bastard knew how to cross some lines, if you know what I mean. Wait, what was that? Oh, <laughs> oh, you thought I was still talking about the tamer. No, I meant the wolf. I know the tamer, of course. He and I go way back, too, just not quite as far. Though overall, I'd say he's pretty preferable to the wolf. You can't, like, sit down and have a drink with the wolf, you know what I mean? No opposable thumbs. The Tamer, though, get some good whiskey and a couple of victims, and then you really have a party. Actually, I think you should know him, too. Though he might be a little... different than you remember. It's been a lot longer for him than it's been for you, after all. From what he's told me, it's a damn struggle being a Wolf Tamer. Especially when you're always stuck in the cage with him. Apparently he lost the key to that cage a long time ago. One would think it'd get pretty crowded in there. Not a lot of space for being alone with your thoughts, you know. But maybe that's why he's always such a dumbass. <laughs> ah, but don't tell him I said that. He'll go from being a wolf to a sad puppy dog in about five seconds. On second thought, that actually sounds hysterical. Maybe I'll just tell him myself. Would that be cruel? Hold on, I think that might be the signal. Oh, yep, there's my lovely assistant telling me to shut my fucking trap. Don't know how she managed to communicate all that using just hand signals, but... Cancer was always the smartest of her sisters by a long shot. So I'll leave you with one last thing before our curtain rises again. It's just a little something to think about until we meet next. You think it's even worth it to try to tame the wolf in the first place? Seems like a lot of work to me. Cause see, even if you get it all obedient and shit, you know it's just waiting for its moment. The exact moment you let your guard down to get up and chew your face off. Or something like that. One would think it'd be way more fun to just let it all go. Then again, I might not be the best judge of that. I let my mind go years ago.